if you've spent any time at all in the internet marketing world, you've heard a lot about keywords and keyword research. And though you've likely heard a lot about it, for many, understanding how to perform useful keyword research is a frustrating and elusive thing. In this video, I'll show you how to use keyword research to find and target your audience in order to improve your search engine rankings or plan ad campaigns. There are several excellent keyword tools available, and I recommend using at least three to research keywords. These tools perform different general searches and may be more or less accurate, so if you use a few different tools, you'll get more accurate data among them. The Google AdWords Keyword Planner is the most well-known research tool. Experian, Word Tracker, and Bing Ads all also provide keyword data. We'll use the Google AdWords Keyword Planner as our example. You'll need to sign up or sign into your account, choose the Keyword Planner, and enter your chosen keyword phrase. For this example, I've used the words running shoes. You could be promoting whatever. You have multiple options for sorting your results. For instance, you can sort by relevance, average monthly search volume, or competition. You're searching for keywords that are relevant to your niche that have a relatively high search volume and low competition. As you can see in the results for running shoes, many keywords have a high search volume, but they also have high competition. The easiest way to get around this problem is to focus on long tail keywords. If you're not familiar with the term, a long tail keyword is a search term that's more specific and longer than a simple one or two word search term. WordStream provides a keyword tool that will recommend long tail keywords for you. So will ubersuggest.org. The keyword tool or planner by AdWords will suggest ideas under the Keywords Ideas tab. Additionally, you can use Google Trends to see what search terms are growing in popularity. And you can use social media tools like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube's keyword tool to help you find out how many people are searching for your terms. The more tools you use, the more long tail keywords you'll discover. The benefit to long tail keywords is that they're usually more affordable as advertising terms. If you already have an established website, you can dig into the analytics of your own website to discover what keywords people are already using to find it. This information can be very valuable because you can use them to build specific content to draw in more traffic. Look for keyword refers within your website's analytics report. To find this in Google Analytics, go to Traffic Sources, then click on Sources and look through both search and organic sources of traffic. Look at the sites that already rank well, like Wikipedia and eHow. These sites rank highly and their articles are built around keywords. For instance, the table of contents on a Wikipedia page is all long tail keywords. Read through the articles on the pages to see how keywords are woven into the text. Another good place to look is on your competitor's website. You might not be able to beat them for short or medium keywords, but you can place well for relevant long tail keywords. In addition to long tail keywords, it's worthwhile to look at negative keywords. Negative keywords are important for planning cost effective ad campaigns. A negative keyword is one in an ad campaign that will prevent an ad you're running from showing up for that term. We'll use the example of our main search term, running shoes. If you were promoting your online shoe store, but had no pink running shoes, then it'd be a waste of your advertising money or search engine efforts to show your ads to people who are searching for pink running shoes. So to prevent this, you would list the term pink running shoes as a negative search item. You can research potential negative keywords using the following tools. The Google search query tool is one, the Google AdWords Keyword Planner we mentioned, and also the Google Search Bar. When you plan your ad campaign, you'll be able to list your negative keywords to prevent your ads from being shown for these search terms. This ensures that you're targeting the right visitors and buyers for your website. It can be difficult to make sense of the keyword results displayed in many keyword planners because there's so many variables to consider. Market Samurai is a paid keyword research and analysis tool that interprets keyword data and helps you make informed decisions about keywords. The SEO competition feature will take your selected term and display the top 10 results for Google. And Market Samurai will serve up a metrics graph that gives you a picture of how difficult it will be to rank for that term. That's pretty valuable. Market Samurai saves time by providing multiple data points about the top 10 ranking sites for a search term, including how many external links point to it the kind of backlinks, and how many pages on the site are indexed. This information can be found manually, but it's very time consuming. Now I'm going to tell you about a secret with keyword research. A lot of people hate it and they cut corners. 
If you apply yourself to learning in-depth keyword research, you'll easily blow past your competition. The best way to become an expert at keyword research is to dig in and experiment. Most people develop their own preferences. Some are only interested in keywords that have 10,000 or more searches per month with low competition. Others will focus on keywords that have just 4,000 searches per month. Choose a keyword that looks promising and devise a small ad campaign around it. Check your results and make small changes until your ad's performing well. Over time, you'll develop your own strategies and preferences. So to review, you can use several free and paid keyword research tools such as Google's AdWords Keyword Planner, Experian, Word Tracker, Bing Ads, Market Samurai, and others to research keywords, long tail ones, and negative keywords. Over time, with careful research and testing, you will become a keyword research expert. If you'd like to get more educational videos like this one and learn all kinds of ways to get traffic and visitors coming to your website, click the button here now to, dis to subscribe if you're not already a member and we'll keep you posted on the latest internet marketing news and release new lessons to you as we make them.